in question number 52 this z is basically cube root of a unity let us consider it omega the usual notation and i will calculate p square and equate it to minus i p square while writing p square i will consider z as omega let me write it again this is minus omega raised to the power r then omega raised to the power 2s omega raised to the power 2s and omega raised to the power r now i will square it p square first row multiplied to the first column gives us omega raised to the power 2r plus omega raised to the power 4s first row second column multiplication this gives us omega raised to the power you consider this minus omega power r as minus 1 raised to the power r and omega raised to the power r and then multiply it with it omega raised to the power r plus 2s multiplied by minus 1 raised to the power r this is this multiplication then omega raised to the power 2s will be multiplied to omega raised to the power r so again omega raised to the power r plus 2s will be there we can take it common this plus 1 the second element now the same element will be here because p is symmetric you can see if p is symmetric its square is also symmetric therefore here it is omega raised to the power r plus 2s minus 1 raised to the power r plus 1 then the last element second row second column so this will be omega raised to the power 4s plus omega raised to the power 2r now I will equate it to minus i for being minus i this quantity these two must be 0 it will be 0 only when r is an odd number so there are two possibility for r either 1 or 3 but we will choose that value of r which makes this value as minus 1 so as to make it minus i let us consider r as 3 if r is 3 then this term will become omega raised to the power 2r plus omega raised to the power 6 which is 1 plus omega raised to the power 4s is equal to minus 1 which is not possible because omega raised to the power 4s cannot be minus 2 so this is rejected this possibility we are not going to consider what we are going to consider is r equals to 1 at r equals to 1 it is omega square plus omega raised to the power 4s just come and like omega raised to the power s into omega raised to the power 3s which is 1 equals to equals to minus 1 as expected omega square hum right me le karayenge minus 1 minus omega square is omega it implies s is 1 so r equals to 1 gives us s equals to 1 so we have only one pair 1 comma 1 so answer is 1 in question number 53 we have been asked to find the total number of solutions of this equation in close interval 0 comma 1 what we will do we will consider a function capital fx as 0 to x t square upon 1 plus t raised to the power 4 dt minus 2x plus 1 this is a continuous function the entire function is a continuous function and we will calculate its derivative so as to identify its nature the derivative will be x square upon 1 plus x raised to the power 4 minus 2 as we know 1 plus x raised to the power 4 upon x square is greater than or equals to 2 because it is in the form of x plus 1 upon x and the reciprocal of it will be x square upon 1 plus x raised to the power 4 less than or equals to half this we know using this I can say this quantity is less than half therefore this quantity is less than equals to minus 3 by 2 therefore f dash x is negative so capital F is a decreasing function if capital F is a decreasing function and capital F 0 is minus this part is 0 this is 0 only 1 is there and capital F 1 is 0 to 1 t square upon 1 plus t square dt minus 1 again this quantity is less than equals to half as this is less than equals to half therefore 
the definite integral is also less than or equals to half in 0 to 1. This is a negative quantity and this is positive. Using intermediate value theorem, I can say there exists an x in close interval 0, 1 where capital Fx is 0 and, as, and it is a decreasing function. So, there must be exactly one root. It gives us at least one root must be there, but because it is a decreasing function, I can say there will be exactly one root. So, the answer is only one real solution. Question number 54. This is a very routine simple problem of limit. Limit x approaching to 0. x square sin beta x. I considered this x in the denominator alpha x minus sin x. I divided x in numerator and denominator both. We can see this is approaching to 0 and denominator is approaching to alpha minus 1 and they are giving that limit as 1. If this quantity is a non-zero quantity, limit will be 0. So, this will be 1 only when denominator is also approaching to 0. It means alpha is 1. But considering alpha is 1, let us solve the problem. It is sin beta x upon beta x. So, here it will be beta x cube divided by x minus sin x. I consider alpha is 1. Now, I will divide x cube in numerator and denominator or let us consider here x cube. This we know approaches to 1, x cube cancel and using expansion we are very well aware that this limit approaches to 1 by 6. So, the limit is beta x, 6 beta according to s. This implies beta is 1 by 6. We know the value of beta and alpha. So, it is 6 times alpha plus beta will be 7. 1 plus 1 by 6, 7 by 6 into 6 is 7. So, the answer is 7. 